Welcome to the Texas Goat Radio Show. I am your host, Matorius. This is part nine of the 1734 Luciferian live stream. <laughs> like they wanted her to try and kill me. You guys remember all that? No. When there'd be these like... What? The dream that we will get the next 40 acres by November and we... The answer is no to that. We'll keep this going. So thank you for that. No. Uh, that's awesome. No. Yeah, you guys are great. No. I love you guys' relationship. Nope. All right. Well, that's to be expected. Hey, yeah, but do you understand how it works, though? It's all about free will. Like, remember when all those trolls were getting that one crazy lady to stalk me? Like, they wanted her to try and kill me. You guys remember all that? No. When there'd be these, like, because that's how you can see the <laughs> demon. Who's he talking about? Is he talking about the, the uh, lady that showed up that he met at the uh, the uh, post office? Who, because of what he has said and done, led people to believe that he was genuine and he cared about people? And so she showed up because she thought that she could help him and that he could help her? Is he talking about her? Hierarchy, where you can see influences online and Reddit and all these places where they're like, yeah, yeah, he's trying to humiliate you. Yeah, he's like, he's like saying that I was the reincarnation of her dead brother. And she was just stalking my house. She'd be at the post office. Just like, let me touch you. Oh, Jesus. That was all about her choosing it. You know, I, dude, you could, I, I do the same shit every day. I'm an easily accessible person and I've rubbed a lot of really dark people the wrong way. He hates that he just said that because he is not. He is not, and it's by design, and that's one of the things that makes him a coward is because he is so um, disgusting and nasty and just just a terrible human being, really, and treats people in that way. There's a reason why he never lo- leaves his farm. Hey, she was crazy. I know, but it was all about her choice. I learned so much about how this world works through some of these things that I used to find kind of scary. The good thing that came from it was eight foot fencing and a giant gate yep. that I never would have spent the money on if it wasn't for being actively stalked. Poor lady, how could you? And I- <laughs> no, no, it's because he, he is a, uh, <clears throat> taking care of yourself and taking care of your family, making priorities, making decisions based on the safety of your family is not cowardness. It's not a coward thing to do. But being a human being that actively takes advantage of people's kindness and then whenever people hold you accountable and using that as a victim mentality, you're a coward. I root for it. It's all about they know not what they do. That's huge. The internal forgiveness where you don't see them as enemies. Our battle is not flesh and blood. It's about the principalities of darkness. Like, I live this shit, guys. That's why when people are like, oh, how dare you? You don't dare speak the name Jesus. I'm like, motherfucker, you, you're, you're flipping. You think this is all a game to get power. Like, you use your church as like a tax write-off and to find little local power players so that you can sell more bullshit. I've had to actually internalize some of these lessons to fucking survive. Because the same force... is try and get you to mentally see people as your enemy they're not really your enemy people are not your enemy they're being influenced if the darkness could actually do it to you they wouldn't require demonic influence how's that for good fucking news it's the best news ever and there are hit hit squads and that stuff does exist but that exists in that world like that world if you have a bunch of grabbers fighting over territory like it's just like a it's just like uh, gang members, you know. If you're in that world, they will, you know, hire each other to blackmail and scare. But they, like to hire someone to kill someone is is much rarer than you think. It's more about like killing their dog. He is he is laying it on thick with this, and I I, I actually do uh, think that he is planting seeds in the hearts and minds of his following of his <clears throat> cult to get them to do these dangerous things for him for no money. This, I, I really do think that this is probably one of the most important live streams he's ever done for the simple purpose of 
uh, whenever I say important, it's almost like it's breaking news. You're watching an active cult leader prime his cult for dangerous activities, for for evil. Or getting black now, or trying to get a chick to fuck him and get him on camera or something, because it's all about free will. To actually kill someone has immense blowback, you know? And so it's like, if you can get someone to choose to cuck because of fear that something will get out or fear that, you know, over their own fear, it's way, way better for the pyramid to do that. That's why it's all about uh, free yeah. will and consciousness. <clears throat> one of, one of, there's a, if y'all have noticed, I've, I've stopped referring to that Owen account. And I was for a little bit convinced that it was Owen. <clears throat> but then whoever it was, they showed their cards. And so I believe that I know who it is. <clears throat> One of the things that they say, and it's important um, to know who you are, to be comfortable in silence, to be comfortable being alone. Because one of the things that that person did was, hey, this person knows you in real life. They've told me who you are, all that kind of stuff. I, I thought it was kind of funny, but they wasn't they weren't actively trying to be funny. But to be able to say that to someone and think that that or assume that that should have some that it should scare you or intimidate. One of the only reasons why I'm, uh, I haven't disclosed who I am is because I act, I actually do think that Owen Benjamin is a dangerous cult leader. I, I really do think that. And I think his cult members are dangerous. Active cult members are dangerous. <clears throat> so until I'm ready, I'm not going to say it, but if it ever came out, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. I guess the point that I'm trying to make is uh, actively try to be a decent person and don't run away from your mistakes, right? Owen is a good example of someone who runs away from their mistakes, who doesn't hold themselves accountable. And it doesn't end well for people like that. Because eventually that everything, and that's one of the things that sucks is you can, you can make a big mistake, run away from that mistake and then do good. But then everything that has been built upon that mistake that you didn't acknowledge is sub it's possible that everything will just crumble. Everything will fall. That's a possibility. Just be honest with yourself and with God. Charlie says, I was offloading and listening to the Big Brown Friday. That's a crazy concept because God knows everything anyway. And so really the only person, the only, you're only lying to yourself. and almost wrecked my Tacoma when I heard RFK talks like he's giving head. This is partially a tip and partially paying gay away for driving a Tacoma. Thank you for that. The trick is to get it blamed on the Palestinians. <laughs> ah, Toronto Jubert coming in hot. Toronto Jubert gets it, yeah. It's all about liability, dude. And who is getting used by the dark forces more than the fucking quote-unquote Jews? I mean, they've lost. They're using such circular logic at this point that the accusation of anti-Semitism requires a group called the Jews to hate. Admitting there is a group called the Jews is anti-Semitism. And around we go and around we go. And the dark rider throws you to the ground whenever they need a new fucking group of dupes. We got a nice diamond super gravy on the virus war. Demonology is legit. Yeah, virology. I mean, I don't I, I'm not going to say I, I've never seen a demon. I don't know. I don't have personal contact with demons. 
but demonology has more validity to it. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was a weird, that came across strange. That's such a weird thing to say. Now I kind of think you do, Owen. <laughs> I mean, what? Than virology. Virology appears to be a material representation of an affect from the metaphysical realm. But what do I know? I'm just a guy out here batting a thousand. Just, you know, what do I fucking know? Batting a thousand. Snake eating itself. Exactly, dude. And that's why that's such good news. Like, you'll go, you'll have hardship, you'll have sadness, you'll, you'll have poverty, or you'll have greatness, or you'll go through times of loneliness, or, or trepidation, you know, all kinds of stuff. But the one thing you can always know is that world of lying, that world of darkness can't, they fundamentally can't win. It's not possible. Because engaged. He literally is the snake eating itself. There's so much of this that I don't understand. I mean, I don't, I just don't. Does he, does he actually believe that he is a beacon of light? Or does he know? I don't, that's so bizarre. In the upside down. Okay, like, what if the world isn't flat? Like, what if it turns out I'm wrong and it's really a spinning ball, blah, blah, blah? It doesn't matter. It's not like I lose because I'm speaking from what I believe to be true and not with the intent of getting approval or money from the system. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not not uh, money from the system, just money from you people who have uh, something on your face. Some would call it bear goggles that allows all of this nonsense to be palatable. And when you do that, the out, it's like the, the material doesn't matter as much as you think. It's about your intention. Okay. Okay. See that that's that's a little that's that's interesting. The material doesn't matter as much as you think. This is coming from a dude who spends two to three hours a day speaking gibberish, nonsensical horse hockey with little bits of truth in there in order to get more money. So it's intent that matters. And that, I mean, that's true, especially whenever you're working with wizardry, spellcraft, rhetoric. The intent behind your words, the the uh, the motives matter. There's a reason why whenever <clears throat> universally, whenever someone gets gets arrested for murder, per se, specifically, why did why did it's important? It's important as human beings to understand why someone did something motives matter. And what he just said was really what you're saying doesn't matter. Just the motives behind it with the intentions <clears throat> movies work in the same way and songs. They have motives behind those. It's not just meaningless, uh, catchy beats and, and whatnot. There's actual motives behind it. Modern Fertile Crescent, that is Palestine is fake and the Gulf Coast is the real Fertile Crescent, then it is in the biggest trick of all. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm not going to make that claim, but I think there's a lot of tricks. I think there's a lot of tricks. It's all about free will hijacking, consent tricks. All about free will, dude. And the more honest you are, the less you will get hijacked. Just always ask yourself, is your action actually helping in the way you think? Like this this movie thing that they just did with the sound of uh, bullshit, it's such a free will hide. See, there's a reason why he just doesn't say certain things. Because he, he this is obviously just my opinion. He does believe, my opinion, he does believe that words matter. To a certain extent. That's why he changes words. That's why he doesn't say names because saying a name gives it respect. That's why I. That's why it's written in the uh, New Testament. Don't call uh, Lucifer by Lucifer, the evil one. Refer to him as the evil one. Even Michael the archangel had no railing accusation whenever they were disputing against Moses's bones. 
The only thing he said was the Lord rebukes you. The Lord disapproves of you. That's all he said. No railing accusation, just the Lord does not approve of you. Words matter and he knows it. Jack, I'm going to save the children by chipping my child. We have to save the children and give Tim Ballard money and keep doing what we're doing at home. Like, so the whole deal is like your intention. Do you want other people to see you saving the children or do you actually want to save the children? Have you actually looked into what happens after these sex slaves are saved, quote unquote? What happens to their lives? He actively is rooting for the uh, horrible actions to keep going. When you realize what he's saying right there, to be saved, quote, oh, this is very dangerous, very disgusting. Uh, oh, man. Or is it better to not allow it to happen to begin with? And what is that's such a stupid thing to say? When you think about what he's saying, that is absolutely stupid. Of course, people want to stop it from happening to begin with, but it's happening. And so you have to stop it. I hate him talking about this. That entail in your local community. You don't have power in Colombia. You know, this is all ego driven where it's like, well, we got to go do something. What about Sierra Leone? Why Columbia? Five-year-old movie, Why Now? Exactly. And it was made by Carlos Slim. It was paid for by the guy who owns the New York Times. So when they say, oh, the liberal media is so against it, it was made by the liberal media. Carlos Slim owns the New York Times. Carlos Slim paid for the movie. You set up a binary. Oh, this is a movie. You don't want to hear this movie. This movie is fucking way too based. Way too. Way too there's no such thing as human trafficking. Meanwhile, the guy who paid for it is Mexico's biggest gangster. So many guys squirting over this movie. Yeah, it's so fucking stupid. Godsworth, what is that? What are you doing? No one cares. <clears throat> hey, Big Bear, no gay to pay away today for a super sober month in five years, and I have no one to thank but the spellbreaker himself. All praise to God, obviously, but I'm quite a good influence. I still wanted to add a tip because of how many... Who is his God? ...laughs I got from your few streams unraveling the nuke bullshit. I've been fasting at work, too, and I've been fucking crushing... <clears throat> That's He's still trying to participate in that realm, which is interesting to me. All praise to God, of course. Well, let's see what he said one more time. I'll break her himself. All praise to God, obviously, but I'm quite a good influence. I still want to add... <laughs> okay. All right. So, look at the, the sincerity. Listen to the sincerity. Test off spirit. Listen to the sincerity of his voice whenever he says, all praise to God, compared to whenever he gives himself praise. Of course, what is that? What are you doing? No one cares. <clears throat> hey, Big Bear, no gay to pay away today for a super sober month in five years, and I have no one to thank but the spellbreaker himself. All praise to God, obviously, but I'm quite a good influence. Yep. I still wanted to add a tip because of how many laughs I got from your few knows words matter, even if they're meaningless. Dreams unraveling the nuke bullshit. I've been fasting at work too, and I've been fucking crushing since. I'm very new to the bear community, so I feel a bit out of place still. Well, hopefully we'll get Niggle up and running. Made by pedos. Yeah, why wouldn't you? What, if you were a pedophile, why wouldn't you pretend to be saving the children to get access to children and make a ton of money and have a liability shield so nobody thinks you're the one going after the children? This is, I mean, I don't know. You know? <sighs> That channel that I had that got taken away, uh, over 700 videos. And there was not one accusation that I made against anyone without proof. Not one. Not even speculation. <laughs> Carlos Slim Shady, yeah. Uh, but, but, but the theaters don't want them. The, the theaters were putting up a big fight. Whenever I say not even speculation, that <laughs> that that, that didn't set well with me. Speculation, yes, but not an accusation. Never, not one time did I ever accuse anyone of PDF computer file stuff without proof. 
big stink, but they had to let them in because because the, the message boards were just so powerful. I mean, the movies were like, dude, if I was a movie theater, I wouldn't want that fucking piece of shit movie in my day. It's like a snuff movie. It's like, it's just so annoying, right? To see these these stupid people walking out crying, like, ah, we have to tell them. It's like a, <clears throat> oh, see, it's very tempting. Everyone about the children. Meanwhile, the pedophiles are probably making all the money on the movie. Unbelievable. Like, there's a 0% chance that that movie is doing any good at all. 0%. It's not even one, not even a little bit of good. That, this is, I mean... I've done a lot of videos on Owen. One of the things that I say is that any good that comes out of Bertoria or the cult is in spite of Owen not because of Owen. It is a crazy thing to say that zero good comes out of anything because that is dis that's that's a lie. That's disingenuous. You are obviously manipulating by saying that. It's uh, painfully obvious, man. Okay? Okay. Haiti or Thailand, dude. It's right in the open, all these big-time comedians. I mean, all of, like, uh, uh, Joe Rogan's, like, main comedians all are fucking, like, either pedophiles or what. They brag about it. Like, Bobby Lee fucked a 12-year-old in Mexico, talked about how tight she was. Fucking Ari Shafir goes to Thailand and fucks ladyboys in the ass. Brags about it, laughs about it. You know, what's his... I am fairly confident that both of those accusations are baseless, name uh tom segura just did a special on netflix talking about jerking off his five-year-old it's right in plain sight no one actually they don't really care they're using you rumble says uh what i witnessed on friday is some of the best comedy that's ever been made thank you big bear anytime missy appreciate you and then jack cat says this is a serious question why do catholics fetishize jesus's mom because they're gross i grew up going to a plymouth congregational church so i guess i just don't understand the obsession because Mother Mary's uh, statue always looks like a vagina, and they're, like, all about the hood and the clit. I know there's going to offend some—I know the Catholic thing is going big right now. Like, everything that he says—no, not everything. It's insane how gross and vulgar he is. Deeply— <laughs> Deeply closeted. They're about to take down the Jew and all that. You know, I get it. They're all, like, fucking super excited. Uh, I find it to be pretty, uh, pretty gay. Uh, and look, BB Homestead, family man, spellbreaker, comedian hour. Yeah, I was raised Catholic. I mean, I know, I'm friends with a lot of Catholics. There's a lot of Catholics I find to be wonderful. No, I, I, I don't think so. I, I think that he was raised Luciferian, and I'm being, uh, that's not my honest opinion. I think his mother and his father are Luciferian. I honestly do. I think, but I, I think that they were married by. Uh, out of obligation, I think both of them um, bat for the other team. And I think it was a marriage out of necessity. Human beings. But yeah, it's like talking about, you know, Jesus' mom. They're like obsessed with the mom and the beads. And that might come out of left field. But I, I had those thoughts whenever uh, I was watching him back in 2016, 2017. He would have his mom and dad on on the stream, and I I was the first time that I saw his dad. I was like, "Yo, bro, <laughs> I mean, you know, right?" Friday was top five hilarious streams. Thank you, Boar Bear. Uh, I hope I'm relatively consistent. Super chats, my unauthorized and Bertaria time subscriptions, and my strive to improve are enough to show I really do love being a bear. My favorite quote of the week. You can't, God, God, are we off, uh, are we off Twitter? Oh my. All right. Yeah, might as well. This is the Texas Goat Radio Show, and I'm your host, Notorious. As always, till next time.